How are you doing? Are you I'm good? doing okay, thank yeah. you. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, uh, you guys haven't had a press briefing since <laughs> President Biden dropped out of the race. So yesterday, Corinne Jean-Pierre finally had a press briefing. And when I say finally, this is after the historic upheaval that occurred on Sunday at the White House. She waited until Wednesday to finally have a press briefing. And at some point in a press briefing, you're going to have to pivot and allow Peter Ducey to ask a question or two. It happened, and we're going to watch it together. How are you doing with all of this? <laughs> you care about how I feel? Are you going to stick around for a potential... President Harris. Oh my goodness. Let me just get through the day. Can I just get through today? Uh, I do Every have some other <laughs> no, I think it's good. I think we're good. I think we're good. How are you doing? Are you I'm good? doing okay. Thank yeah, you. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, uh, you guys haven't had a press briefing since <laughs> President Biden dropped out of the race. So. The president hasn't been here. He just got here yesterday. And now I'm here taking your questions. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the real answer here is I was too busy chumming it up with the ladies on The View. And by the way, you know, the studio for The View is in the same building as ABC News corporate headquarters. So I may have visited my friends up in the C-suite to negotiate my exit strategy from this swampy mess. Because maybe I'll be one of the ladies on The View when Whippy retires or when Joy Behar finally hangs it up. Oh, yeah, you didn't notice that? Yeah. Why did she go out of her way to go to The View yesterday when maybe she was more you know, needed here in Washington, D.C., given everything that was going on? Her predecessor did the same thing and negotiated a deal with NBC News while she was still White House press secretary. You don't think Karine Jean-Pierre learned a lesson from that? Yeah. No, I've been to the studios where The View is taped, and right upstairs, you can talk to the bigwigs, and that's where you would go. Not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, is what I'm saying. Uh, no, I've, and I've taken about three or four at this point from you. Alone. Well, <laughs> it, it would seem that people in this White House knew that President Biden was slipping. And it was hidden from the American people. So who ordered White House officials to cover up a declining president? I know that the, that is a narrative that you love. And that well, too. Wait, no, 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 wait, hold on. He did a press conference hold at NATO. On. I'm in it. There's all these things hold that on. I need to finish. And then 10 days later, I'm dropping out. Okay. Wait, okay. You're asking me like two multiple questions here. Let me, wait, wait. First of all, there's been no cover up. Want to be very clear about that. I know that's the narrative that you all want. Wait, no, no, no. You can't. Even... <laughs> okay. I've been with, I've been with... Just as, as a, as a novice political observer, a layman, I don't have a journalism degree or anything. And I certainly uh, don't have a political science degree. I'm just a regular American watching the last, you know, 40 years of American politics. And I just say that almost every time there's a cover up in the white house, the White House spokesperson, very, very rarely. I mean, and I mean, really, I, I rack in my brains here, but I can't remember the time when the White House spokesperson doesn't go to that podium and say, there's no cover up. In fact, I, I'm pretty sure it would be really astounding if the White House spokesperson went up and said, okay, you got us. There was a cover up. Again, I could be wrong. I'm not part of the credentialed class. I'm not an expert, but I'm pretty sure her saying there's no cover up. Does it really answer the question? I'm with President Biden for five Are years. Are you going to let me answer the question? Would you at least admit that the debate I, was not I, just I, bad I, wait, can, can I answer the question? Yes. All right. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. To your first question, it is not a cover-up. I know that is the narrative that you all want. It is not. <clears throat> I'm going to say this again, and you're, you're going to hear it directly from the press. I hope you listen tonight. I think it's going to be incredibly powerful and important. The Oval Office presidents, as you know, when they make speeches from the Oval Office, it's because there are important moments that they want to directly uh, make sure that the American people hear from them. And it's obviously going to be done in prime time. I would listen to the president. And then what I will say is that it is not easy making a decision that the president made on Sunday. It is just not. It is not. And as all you have you all reported, it is historic. It is unusual. This is not the norm. 
And making a decision like that for someone who has been in public service for 54 years, U.S. Senator for 36, President to uh, Vice President to President Obama for eight, and now a first term as president himself. These are not easy decisions to make. Can I just jump in here real fast and remind you that the question was, why weren't we told the truth about the president's mental and physical decline? Now, it was framed with volatile language. Why did you cover this up? But the point of the question, the point of the inquiry, is that up as recently as seven days ago, Joe Biden said, I'm not going anywhere. And then suddenly he's gone. So clearly there was a decline. Why weren't we told the truth about it? And what motivated this decision? And you let me know if you get anywhere near an answer to that question. The only question, really, that we want an answer to. They're just not. And so the fact that he was able to make that decision in a selfless way, that's admirable. One of the decisions he made, President Biden wants Vice President Harris to be the standard bearer of the party now. Does she still want to get rid of ICE? You have seen what this administration has been able to do in the past three and a half years. And they did that with uh, the vice president as a partner in that. And Republicans got in the way. The president went around Republicans and was able to get thousands of personnel at the border. And now we are seeing a 50% drop at the border. And that's because of what this president has done. As a partner, though, she's been in charge of root causes of migration for years. She has never spoken to the Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens or the Border Patr Patrol Chief before him, Raul Ortiz. What should that tell us about her leadership style? She was supposed to be doing root causes dealing with diplomacy. And diplomacy. Wait, involved. diplomacy. That's what her job was supposed to be. Dipl diplomatic. That's the job. And it... I, I understand that you're asking these questions, but we should also look at congressional Republicans who got in the way, literally got in the way of everything that this president was trying to do to deal with the border. They got in the way. They would say one thing and then they would change their mind. They would say, we want border patrol. We want, uh, uh, you know, we want a deal on, on what's happening at the border. And then they would walk away from it. And they did it because of what the former president said. You guys reported that. I didn't. That's not coming from me. Some of your colleagues reported that the former president said, "Let's not move forward with this proposal because it's going to help Joe Biden." I mean, that's also the reality. You got to talk about both sides here. Good. I, I, Great. This is. Yeah, I, 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 get, I, I get. I get. I get that you're not going to give us. Gotta, I, I get that you, you might have to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Go ahead, Peter. One more. I get that you don't. Probably want to it's give good to see you too, James. A specific yeah. name, but were there any names that came forward that surprised you of Democratic officials in the last week who stabbed President Biden in the back? I don't have anything else to say. Go ahead, April. <laughs> I mean, we weren't expecting to hear anything from her other than to bash Republicans as she did, and to lie, by the way. And uh, if uh, Donald Trump did advise members of Congress or the Senate to not approve of the disastrous border bill that the Democrats wanted, it wasn't because it was going to help Joe Biden. It was because it was going to make this country less safe and actually make the border issue worse. Uh, there was one thing, though, that I appreciated her saying that was truthful when uh, she Joe Biden couldn't get Republicans to do it acquiesce to his demands on the border. Did you hear the word she used? He worked around Republicans. That's another way of putting that. He worked around the Constitution and just did whatever he wanted because this president and Democrats generally have no respect for the rule of law and certainly not for our Constitution. No, of course, she's not going to give any answers about what really happened behind the scenes about the Democrats who stabbed Joe Biden in the back, about Democrats who engineered a silent coup or a putsch, if you will, as they decided that dear leader had served his time and now he is no longer effective for the party. So dear leader must move off the stage and we bring in new leader, new fresh leader, same ideas, same everything. She will continue to do what we, the party needs, but she's younger and that more vibrant and has more energy. So that will be good for the party. So he is gone. She is here. Everybody march in lapstick. We have a new leader. And that's what they did. And I'll reiterate, we'll we'll learn much more about what really happened here 
after the election. But right now, they got to put their game face on. And that game face looks like a latex Kamala Harris mask, which is going to be a terrifying Halloween costume this year. I'm not looking forward to that.